Good morning. This is uh, Michael Benjamin Jacobson on Matthew Robert Payne. Can you have a look at that T-shirt? You can do something miraculous. Ah, even invent 200 T-shirts uh, with three sittings and probably a total time of two hours. Probably, you know, about two a minute, two to three a minute, M more than that, M maybe not two hours. Uh, I did about one every 10 seconds. But um, this is uh, a series. I've got friends that I uh, led to the Lord, uh, a few witches, and I've got her cousin sort of visits me from time to time when I do a preach and sort of got used to me doing my daily what does my t-shirt mean um, that uh, t-shirt is easy to understand you can read it and, uh, and, and, and see it says you can do something miraculous um, that's quite easy to read just like um, the parables of Jesus are easy to un uh, read and, and people think they understand them but some things that are um, simple to read and simple to understand are very deep. Uh, a lot of people, uh, for instance, can understand what this T-shirt says. You can do something miraculous, but uh, will they ever do something? Will they ever do something miraculous? Uh, walking up to a person, a total stranger, and telling them all about their life, their past struggles, their future, their plans, their dreams, their desires. Uh, over five minutes, that's something miraculous. Uh, the, the, the prophetic can be really um, miraculous. Uh, uh, Todd White walking up to someone and say, I feel that uh, you've got an issue with your back and uh, <coughs> since you had a car accident about five years ago and your back's been hurting ever since. Uh, can I lay hands on it and pray for you? And uh, the back, be healed. That's something miraculous. Um, I, uh, I spent 10 years uh, writing and editing and uh, partially editing and uh, fixing a book up over 10 years. It was my dream. I, I called it The Fallen Ones. And... Uh, I've got a friend to proofread it and uh, do some editing. Uh, try and take every uh, sort of uh, mistake out of it. I got with these, uh, this company used to be an Amazon company. Used to have the uh, first name. It wasn't Create Spaces before then. Uh, paid them. I uh, oh, was ready to pay them and release this uh, book and I've seen a scripture uh, in the Bible that um, got highlighted by the Holy Spirit. And essentially it was saying you can't uh, publish your book. Uh, some, something, it goes something like uh, uh, a man of God should always uh, have a good appearance and always be uh, doing the godly thing or something like that. Whatever it said, uh, I sense the Holy Spirit on it. So I asked Jesus, should I publish that book? And Jesus said, no, the book is very dark. I know it's kept you alive, but you need to throw the book away. Uh, you can either preach in the future or you can publish a book, but you can't do both. And uh, I've only preached five times so far, but uh, I understood the sentiment. Uh, uh, a prophetic uh, person I knew down south in Australia said that the book had an anointing on it, but it was... The wrong sort of anointing it was um, like a demonic sort of anointing a page turner anointing that's on books of horror and uh, so I threw the book away with uh, I, I wanted to release the book because I, I felt that I was going to release my whole ministry off the back of the book uh, I went and uh, uh, got called to write other books years later I wrote 55 Christian books. And once again, I thought the books were going to release me into ministry and they, 
they didn't and they haven't. But uh, I did tend to write one book every month for three years and that was something miraculous. So I don't think anyone in the world has uh, written a, one book a month and released it and uh, I certainly don't think anyone self-published uh, 55 books uh, in the short time that I did. <coughs> So that's something miraculous. Uh, there's a scripture in the Bible, uh, uh, Ephesians 3.20, that says you can do exceedingly and abundantly more than you can even ask or think according to the power that works within you. Uh, and, and for these uh, coven, this is especially for the coven that they're listening, um, that means you can do more than you dream of. Whatever you can think of, whatever you can uh, ask for or pray to the gods or pray to your God, whatever you can conceive, whatever you can believe in, uh, the Holy Spirit working within you can exceed your greatest expectations. So I thought I was going to publish one book and start my ministry. I had no idea when I started writing the 55 books that I was going to do 55 uh, a, a year into it, I, I'd done a few books. I think I was up to number six. And uh, Jesus gave me a vision of 50 books. He showed me 50 books in heaven. And uh, they're in a bookcase. And I looked in the bookcase and I heard in my mind the number 50. And I said, what does 50 mean? Jesus said, these are all your books. Well, these are the books you're going to write. And uh, I'd been producing one or two a year, so I thought it was going to take me 20 years. Then Jesus uh, led me to start charging for prophecy and start my own ministry. And uh, suddenly the money started pouring in and I was able to publish one a month. Um, to, to publish one book a month, to write and publish one book a month, you need to have three or four books on the go all the time. So you've got to have your head in three books going forth all the time one just about to edit uh, one uh, uh, getting dictated and one uh, past the edit just about in the publishing process um, so that's something miraculous no one's done that before uh, every time I go out and I enjoy going out these uh, witches that are like astral travel and travel with me they love me going out and love watching me with people Every time I go out, I do something miraculous. But in order to believe that uh, you can do something miraculous, you you got to uh, hear testimony. you got to understand other people doing miraculous things. you got to understand it's possible. Uh, you can do something miraculous uh, without knowing. Someone could uh, habitually abuse you as you grow up and uh, you could forgive that person. Forgiveness is something miraculous. Um, someone could be need a couple of hundred dollars or they'll be kicked out of the apartment. They could need $200 to pay a bill or something and they're in, be in big trouble. <coughs> Being touched by the Lord to give them the $200 that you got in your bank account, that's doing something miraculous. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to do something big. It doesn't have to. You don't have to build a skyscraper uh, to do something miraculous. You just got to uh, act according to the Holy Spirit. And in Galatians, Paul says that uh, the spirit uh, wars against the flesh. Uh, the things of the spirit war against the flesh in Romans. He says that I do the things that I don't want to do. And the things I do want to do, I don't do. Uh, and that's, uh, uh, I've talked about that before, but it bears repeating that. Uh, the things you don't want to do, I, I, I didn't want to go up and pick up uh, my dry cleaning today. I, did, I didn't want to do it. And uh, my uh, uh, my friend, my witch slash Holy Spirit, even if you believe she doesn't exist, even if she doesn't exist, she's got some good fruit. And uh, she said, go up and do it. You've got to do it and have a talk to me and have some lunch. I went up there and had some nice Thai food and got the clothes and got it there and she told me on the way back uh, when you come back before you do anything um, write to that girl that uh, gave you the hundred dollars and thank her and then do your t-shirt preach and they call it the t-shirt preach and uh, so that's miraculous walking around with someone who used to be a former witch that you led to the Lord 
uh, via watching a Todd White video on the internet. And uh, she was led to the Lord and she's directing me around like the Holy Spirit. And even if you think, well, he's a lunatic, he's crazy. Well, I am. Uh, she's making some good calls lately. So uh, miraculous. Ephesians 3.20 says, uh, you can do it. Uh, the other verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Um, and when Paul said that, he, he, he said a litany of things. He'd been uh, uh, washed up on a beach. He'd been shipwrecked. He'd, uh, he'd been whipped. He'd been bashed. He'd been smashed. He's been without clothing. He's been starving. He's been out in the wild. He's been scared of robbers. He's, he's been scared of the people. Uh, he had this big litany of things he'd been through. But he said, nevertheless, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. In other words, he wasn't just saying, hey, I can do anything because Jesus will give me strength. He's saying, I've been through some horrific stuff, but I learned I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So um, we can do uh, amazing things. You can do something miraculous. Uh, it, it <coughs> depends on, <coughs> I guess, what do you think is possible? God wants to move you into the impossible. Uh, God wants to uh, manifest his Holy Spirit, use his Holy Spirit to uh, direct you uh, to do something uh, amazing, miraculous, something as a sign to other people. Uh, it's been a sign to some people that I haven't posted on Facebook uh, for, for 13 days, uh, for three weeks. Uh, it's coming up three weeks in, in two days. Uh, that's something miraculous for people. That's unheard of, Matthew, not being on Facebook. And I didn't think uh, that would ever be possible. So uh, I encourage you uh, to um, believe. Uh, you can uh, go and uh, have a look at my T-shirts and find five or ten that you really agree with and do something miraculous. Buy them for yourself. Uh, and uh, hope uh, that uh, you learn something and... Uh, my studio audience are certainly nodding and, and they've learned something. And uh, God bless you and keep you and uh, hope uh, you enjoy this uh, T-shirt series. If, if you enjoyed the description of what this T-shirt means uh, to me or a, a gist or a, a little understanding of what it means, uh, there's a playlist where I talk about my other T-shirts. I think I've talked about five so far. Uh, you can go and have a look at that and have a look at why I wrote them and perhaps be inspired to buy some. God bless.